Hi, welcome to Collie Biology. Today we're going to be reviewing the male reproductive system. All right, we begin with looking at where the sperm is produced. That's the testes, paired organs. The testis is singular, testes, plural. Running along the top of the testy, the epididymis, epi means top, so that's the portion of the tube that runs along the top of the testes. It's going to carry sperm ultimately into the vas deferens. Vas deferens is this long pink tube, carries the seminal product. The testy not only makes the sperm itself, it also makes within the interstitial tissues the testosterone. The sac, external tissue, it's both skin and a little bit of fat that surrounds the testes. The epididymis and the initial portion of the vas deferens is referred to as the scrotum. The other external structure in male reproduction is the penis and running through the penis carrying both urine from the urinary bladder as well as reproductive product and seminal fluid is the urethra. We follow the urethra back. It goes to the urinary bladder. Surrounding, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Surrounding the urethra, we have this reddish tissue, that's the prostate gland. Coming off of the urethra, this pink structure, seminal vesicle. And then we have one more structure, one more gland off the urethra, that's the bulbourethral gland, also known as Cowper's gland. And the prostate, seminal vesicles, and bulbourethral all contribute to seminal fluid. They all create the liquid in the semen. If we look at some orientation structures for the male reproduction, we have one of the hip bones, that's the pubis bone, pubic bone, that's in cross-section there. And we also recognize that this around the back is the large intestine, the rectum, and the anus. So that orients us to male reproduction.